Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out some new lip liners that Flower Beauty recently launched. And by the way, you guys, I'm super excited because I have never tried any of Flower Beauty products before, but I've heard so much about them. And this is the Flower Beauty Perfect Pout Sculpting Lip Liners. It runs for $9.99. They came with eight different shades. I picked up four different lip colors that I feel like are the perfect everyday type of lip shades. And it's supposed to be really pigmented, smudge proof, long wearing, feather proof, crease proof, vegan and cruelty free lip liner. So today we're going to try them on. We're going to see what is the undertone like, the pigmentation, how does it feel on the lips, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Everything will be listed in the description box in order. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's jump on in and try these on. Starting off on our first lip shade, this one is called Toffee, described on their website as a neutral nude pink lip shade, and let me show you guys. It is like the perfect everyday type of lip shade. It's a little bit more pigmented than I personally thought it would be but it's still a really pretty undertone. I definitely feel like it has a neutral undertone. I feel like this is a perfect fall winter lip shade and so far I really like the consistency. It's really pigmented. I didn't have any issues swatching the back of my hand. It definitely has like a natural finish but I honestly feel like it kind of has like a matte finish as well. So so far so good. I'll let you guys know how it feels if I have any issues shading in my lips or laying on my lips when we go in and apply on this lip shade. As for the packaging, I love the packaging. You guys, really simple to the point. I really wish that the color shades match perfectly with the packaging. It honestly doesn't. So I feel like if you were at the store, you'll probably have a few issues like figuring out which lip shade, like what you're getting. As for the lip liner itself, I personally love it because it is automatic girl. It's going to save us so much time and energy. We will not need a pencil sharpener. And as for the thickness of the brow pencil, of the brow pencil, the lip liner, I personally really like it. It reminds me so much of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow was brow pencil. That's the reason why I said brow pencil. And I really like it because it's like thick. I feel like you'll have control of how you're applying on and lining your lips if you want to shade them. And I feel like it'll make the process so much easier. So, so far, so good. So I'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on toffee. So I removed the lip combo. Let's jump on in and try on toffee. I'm going to go ahead and start in the corner of my mouth. And so far it feels really creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and shade them in. Surprisingly, I actually really like this lip shade. It's really pretty on. It's bold, but at the same time, I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. It kind of looks pretty close to my lip color. And I personally really like it. I didn't have any issues lining my lips or shading them in with this lip liner. I didn't feel like it was tugging at my lips. It feels really nice and powdery and soft. And I feel like I don't have anything on. And it doesn't feel drying all at the same time. So, so far, personally, really love toffee. It's a really pretty everyday type of lip color, but still still gives me like that warmth that reminds me of the fall winter time which I personally like so let's move on to lip shade number two moving on to our second lip shade this is called natural rose described on their website as a neutral nude pink lip color and let me tell you guys I just realized that three out of the four lip liners that I purchased for today's video are described with a neutral undertone and I forgot that I ended up purchasing lip liners all kind of with a neutral undertone which I personally personally love because usually end up really loving so I just wanted to mention that because I thought it was really funny and I was honestly really surprised but this is basically it I love this lip color I usually don't like pinky lip shades but this one is really really pretty perfect everyday type of lip color and I can definitely see myself wearing this lately I've been more into like rosy kind of mauve lip undertones so I'm really excited to test this one out and just see how I end up really liking it but so far really creamy the consistency it definitely has a natural or kind of matte finish to it which I personally really like so let's dive on in and try on natural rose I'm gonna go ahead and start in the corner of my mouth and then work my way through shading in as well Natural Rose is such a beautiful lip shade. I'm obsessed with the undertone to it. It looks like your natural lip color, but better. It gives that little softness, that little perfect little pout. I honestly feel like you can't even really even tell like I have anything on, and I absolutely love it. It feels really lightweight, you guys. It feels really creamy, really hydrating, but not like super creamy, but like 
you don't feel like it's drained down your lips. That's what I'm trying to say. But I personally really love this lip shade. Again, it's really easy for me to draw in my lips to line them. So, so far, so good. Like if you just want to wear this alone and not have to worry about lining your lips and applying on a lipstick, this is perfect. This will literally go such a long way and perfect. Like say for instance, you go to an event and you forgot to apply on, not apply on, include or bring with you your lipstick and you only have a lip liner. This will be really, really nice because it will look so flattering on and it's super easy to shade in your lips. So let's move on to lip shade number three. The third lip shade we're going to go ahead and apply on. This one is called Blush. Surprisingly on their website is described as a light warm lip shade and to be honest nothing about the swatch on the back of my hand looks warm. It looks like a true pink lip color. It's really really pretty perfect for the summer springtime anytime you want to add a little bit of pop of color to your look. I would honestly wear this lip shade with like a lighter lip color in the center of your lips just to give your lips a little bit more dimension and give your lips a little bit more of that pout but I absolutely love it very different I don't typically wear lip shades like this one but who knows maybe I'll end up really liking it but it's really pretty so I'm gonna go in and apply this on I'm gonna go ahead and start in this in the corner and then work my way through and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to press my lips together and it slightly transfers over but not very much blush surprised me you guys this lip shade looks like one color swatch in the back of my hand and then applying it on it looks like a whole nother lip shade and to be really honest i actually like this lip liner on it's really really pretty i feel like it looks like my natural lip color it gives me a little pop of color but it's really subtle i feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade you could easily wear this at work because it's not too loud it's just subtle enough that it looks really nice on and i personally really like it didn't have any issues shading in my lips again it feels really comfortable really nice on the lips it feels really nice like powdery and soft like I don't have anything on so let's move on to our fourth and final lip shade the last and final lip liner we're gonna go ahead and try on this one is called taupe described on their website as a neutral light warm lip liner shade and it's really really pretty on I'm really excited to apply it on this lip shade I feel like lip liners like this are totally up my alley love shades and undertones like this one and I personally really love it again it's really creamy easy to swatch on the back of my hand. I feel like this is the perfect everyday type of a lip shade and I honestly wish they would have included a little bit more like nude lip shades in this collection just because I feel like they all have like a warmth to it but kind of like a rosy kind of undertone. I wish they would have had a few more lip liners with kind of like a yellow undertone. You know just give us a little bit more variety but overall I love this lip shade. I feel like I'm gonna end up really loving it. So I'm gonna go in and apply on this lip color, starting in the corner, and then working it my way through. And as expected, I love it, girl. It looks so, so pretty on. I can already see it. <laughs> I can already see it in my mind. Taupe is so pretty on, like expected. I absolutely love it. It's a perfect everyday type of lip shade. You know, sometimes you know, you look at a lip color and you just know you're gonna end up really loving it. And I just know you guys, when you know, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> But so far, personally, I really love the undertone, perfect everyday type of lip shade. Again, the formula is really comfortable, feels nice and powdery and soft. At the same time, it's like creamy, so it doesn't tug on your lips when you're shading them in. Love the shape to the lip liner. It's very, very nice. It makes the process so much easier, especially if you personally like to align, overline your lips slightly. This little shape will go a long, long way and make the process so much easier. I definitely overline my lips, and this came really nice and handy to do that as well but overall you guys I ended up really loving all four of the lip shades I feel like you already know how I feel about this collection I really like it I hope they come out with a few more shades just to give us a little bit more variety maybe a few more nude everyday type of lip colors but I love the pigmentation love the formula the only downside that I can think about is the fact that the packaging doesn't really match perfectly with the lip color that you're receiving inside which will make it really difficult especially if you're at the drugstore and they don't have any testers out there so you can get a good feel of what it looks inside so it can make the buying process a little tricky so that is the only downside that I can think of but overall I love the formula you guys let's see if it transfers over because it's supposed to be long wearing so let's quickly do a transfer test as you can see I don't have anything swatch in the back of my hand so let's see and so far it's a light transfer but I feel like you probably won't see anything on but it transferred over very very lightly I don't feel like it's anything to really worry about 
but overall I personally would like it. It's a really pretty lip shade. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions whatsoever, comment down below, ask away. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye!